what's good guys happy self-care sunday what i want you guys to do right now is pause this video and then drop what you have done what self-care sunday activity have you done today just for yourself like what have you done for yourself genuinely have you washed your car have you taken yourself out have you bought yourself some flowers have you treated yourself recently drop it below let's chat about it something that occurred to me as i was scrolling through my phone as i do on you know the weekends or when i sleep in is i was on snapchat and snapchat made sure to remind me of my little memories as it likes to do and one of the memories is when i went to my last concert and the reason why i say my last concert because since the panoramic started i have not been to a concert and the last concert i went to was a jog please concert so with my friends we always go to concerts parties festivals whatever it is but just because one person may like a genre doesn't mean the next person does but we all end up going well, when it comes to my taste in music, not all my friends like going. So this concert, I made sure that I was going regardless of if it did. This concert, I made sure I was going regardless if anybody else was going because it was a John Queen's concert. Like, hello. So I found me a cute little outfit and I even asked my friends like, what do you think of my outfit? I was still including them even though they weren't going to the concert. But one of my friends was really hating so I just stopped asking for opinions. It's actually this reflective outfit that I posted on my Instagram saying looking brighter than some of y'all's future or something like that. So I took me and my whip and drove myself all the way to San Francisco. Now it doesn't seem far at all. I know people do it all the time. But my scary ass does not like to drive. So for Jacquees, I was willing to do it. And let me tell you, it was worth it. So after finally getting to SF and parking in their huge ass parking garage, let me tell you, parking in SF is not it. But anyways, after arriving to the city, like I was walking around. When I got there, I had some time before the concert. So I was just walking around and enjoying the city. There's plenty to do in SF. There's plenty to see. Like you don't need to be going to a concert or really going to an event to have a good time in SF. So I was doing what I do. Some time has gone by and I'm like in the vicinity of where the concert is happening. And I'm waiting to like cross the street. But I couldn't really like see the traffic because there's like this huge ass bus right there. So I'm just like waiting up the crosswalk, like whatever. Turns out in that bus is Jacquees and his crew. Like I'm waiting to cross. And as I'm waiting to cross, minding my business, on my phone, out walks like a security guard or some guy. And then out walks like two dreadheads. And then that's what caught my attention. I started to look up. Then eventually I saw Quiz. And then I was like, once I saw Quiz, I was like, this is not real. Like, this is not happening. So I immediately crossed the street. Like, forget waiting for that little person. I'm crossing the street. <laughs> I'm crossing the street. And originally I didn't really have a destination. I was just walking. But now it's like, I have to look like I know where I'm going because I'm crossing the street. So I just walked right into Jack in the Box. I walk into Jack in the Box and I contact my friend and I'm like, yo, I was just waiting for the crosswalk and Jacquees' bus was right there as they were all getting out. And then my friend's like, okay, so what are you doing? And I was like, I'm sitting in Jack in the Box. And they're like, you didn't talk to nobody, you didn't stop. And I was like, no, I crossed the street and I went to Jack in the Box. As I'm sitting in Jack in the Box, talking to my friend, making snaps, whatever about the whole situation, Jacquees and his friends like start walking towards Jack in the Box. Like, they're about to walk inside. So I get up and I walk on the other exit that's inside a jack in the box. Like there's an exit in the front, there's an exit in the side. So I get up and I start walking towards the exit. And yeah, like imagine running away from like your celebrity crush or whatever. So then once I get outside of jack in the box, like I feel like, okay, like you good, you in the clear, I guess. Uh, but I just start minding my own business back to my reality. I run into this dude who's carrying a bag from the mall. So I ask him like, oh, hey, like where's the mall? And he points behind him, he's like, oh, I think it's that way. And I was like, okay. But I put in my GPS and it said it was like to the left or something. So I was like, okay, and I started following his directions. And then like 10 seconds went by and then I just started following my GPS. When I was following the GPS, I had to walk back to where I was because it was to the left. And the guy saw me again, he's like, oh my bad, I'm not from here. I thought it was that way, it's actually, and then he told me where it was. And I was like, it's all good, don't worry about it. And eventually I made my way to the mall. <laughs> After making it to the mall, did some little shopping, took some little mall pictures, and then I made my way back to the concert. And the concert was lit, the concert was dope. And when I got there, there wasn't too many people in there, but by the time like the concert was about to start, there was hella people in there. And then one of the bouncers or one of the security people, like he peeped my shoes, he's like, oh, I like your shoes. And I was like, oh, thanks. But then that was like about it. Throughout the night, like the show was starting, we're walking around, got our drinks, like we're enjoying the concert. 
And then I walked downstairs and there's like a little VIP section. And honestly, we were like leaning up against it because there was like a railing. But there was like a bouncer security guy, dude, who was telling everybody like, get off the way, like are you part of the thing? No, okay, boom. So then my scary ass just like stepped to the side and was just like, yeah, whatever, just enjoying the concert. And then the guy who said he liked my shoes, he's like, who are you here with? And I was like, nobody. And he's like, you wanna hop in the VIP? Like it's not packed or anything. And I was like, say less. <laughs> So I was over there in VIP, which was way much better. You didn't have to like be on top of anybody. And of course the railing was there, so it was hella chill. Honestly, me in VIP, like I felt like I was the show. Like me singing and dancing to every single song that came on, like people like, who is he like? People started looking at me crazy. But at that point, I didn't care because Jacquees was on stage. So I didn't care who saw me. <laughs> at the concert was Jacquees' mom, Jacquees' mom's new fiance, well at the time fiance. It was a cute little family situation. But shortly after me enjoying myself at the concert, singing my lungs out, <laughs> I see the guy ask for directions. He's literally wearing the jacket that he just bought at the mall where I asked him like, oh, where's the mall? Cause I saw his bag and he had a red jacket. And he's on stage performing in that same jacket. Like it was a full circle. My whole night was like a full circle from seeing them before the concert to asking one of them where the mall was to coming back and just you can just imagine how mind blown I was at the time because it just felt like everything was just too close. Everything was just too coincidental. Everything just seemed to align. I don't know if it was because I was by myself at this concert or I was just at the right place at the right time. Like, I don't know what it was, but everything just seemed to align. I know I'm hella juice telling the story, but I'm gonna put the snap in this video so you guys can get like my actual like excitement. So we're out here, we're trying to see Jock six, right? And we're early, but his bus pulled up. So, <laughs> yes, I was like, the bus. But then I pretended to go to Jack in the Box. Why Quiz and his crew come out of Jack in the Box? And then I just like walked away, trying to be cool. Then as I was walking away, I saw someone had a shopping bag. So I was like, oh, where'd you just come from? Like, where's the mom? Where were you shopping at? And then he was walking to where he was shopping. Why did he walk to Jacquees' bus to put his shit away? Well, all that to say is, do not forget. Anything you want to do, go ahead and do it. Don't wait around for anybody else. Don't wait for your friends. Don't wait for your boyfriend. Don't wait for your girlfriend. Don't wait for your parents to pay for it. Like, anything that you want to do, if you really want to do it, go out and do it. Because you never know who you might run into. You never know the experience that you're going to have if you don't go out there and do it. But anyways... Yes, that was my story on my last concert when I saw John Cleese. But I hope you guys have a happy self-care Sunday and do something for yourself today. At the beginning of this video, when I asked what have you done for yourself this self-care Sunday so far, if you didn't put anything, write down that you watched this video. Or, or, or write down what you're about to do after this video. Anyways, I love you guys. Peace. Oh, my God.